First of all, we have a really exciting new feature for the quizzes. So you can actually see it here on the screen. It's called a scale and slider. And as you can see, you can set it to anything, you know, hours, days, kilometers, and you can even have a custom value. So you say, you know, how many um, tomatoes is it or how many apples? It's really, really easy. And what it means is that the user can then use this as well to answer the question. So it means that they can answer on a slider and they can say, I'm going to slide it to two apples or three apples. And the same goes for scale. So we can say like, you know, one to five or something like that. Here it's one to four. And then you can really give your rating of what you feel, you know, that it was. Was it good, bad? You can rearrange the list a little bit as well. And you can then, of course, set the correct answer as well. So this can be used in the future in polls, but also really as Q&As to have a, a little quiz question. So that's really exciting. I don't know, Gabor, do you want to add anything from a technical perspective there? No, thank you very much. Actually, the uh, this is what I wanted to say, that you can use these in polls as well, not just quizzes, as you said. It's important because these two ones are very typical poll-related um, question types to give your rating between likely, unlikely, very likely, and these kind of things. So these are yeah. like very general one. It's very nice and very powerful. As you've seen, uh, you can... Uh, you can really, uh, on the admin area, set different settings for it. So we are coming with new uh, uh, quiz types as well, but these are the first two ones this year. Yeah, definitely. That's actually a great point, Gabor. So that's something that's definitely being innovated on constantly. We just had a workshop on it uh, last week as well. So that is something that we're still going to build out further, more exciting you know, games and quizzes, and also new features for the authoring tool. But these, these two are already available, so that's already something you can uh, get started with. Yeah, and maybe I can give just a little bit of sneak peek as this is the first point. It's about quiz and the other points will be about other features that we are generally upgrading the UX for quizzes. So we are planning to give more space for the learning area. We are planning to add new features like for multi-choice questions, uh, adding audio and image selections as well, but not only features, but we are also revamping the look and feel for the quiz types not only for desktop but only also for the mobile use so this is kind of for the, for the for the for the next months but um it's very exciting the ux team is already uh, heavily working on different directions when it comes to quizzes yeah no that's true that will be a really nice one so that's something that uh yeah should be coming out soon but that will be a really nice improvement